Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Comfy Rose 1 replay. Spawn north side as the Vermark forces, we have Noob. Spelt in a funny way. Spawn south side as the British forces, we have Block. Probably some sort of foreign character. As well as these are foreign characters. That B is definitely a beta symbol, N is a weird N symbol, and the O's are capital O's. Either way, Pioneers now being pulled on out. Oh, we got a full straight up Pioneer spam. He's on the Raptor Capital Sector. He's probably going to go straight for the skirmish uh, phase. I for a probably 251 half track in Grenadiers. Maybe a delayed pack 38. Pioneers. Feels like it's being captured on up. He's probably busy microing some other things. And Pioneer is now advancing. So got a quintuple Pioneer opener. Scope Rappos cut that sector there. Additional Pioneers. HQ Command Truck deployed on L. He's going to just deploy in this munition sector. Nope, he is driving his way forward. Pops I am for this mission sector. He has split up the squad here. He should be captured this sector relatively soon. Yep, I can see it blinking. I see his irises and lack thereof when he blinks. We do now the pioneers kept in this sector here. Pioneers here. Fuel sector being captured on up. Pioneers Where exactly is HQ command trucks being deployed and out? And maybe better just go a little bit farther back rather than hyper aggressive forward. He of course will have a significant amount of manpower stored up as well as right now the Wehrmacht player. Pioneers have no enemy in and sight. deploys it right there. It is a bit aggressively forward, not defensively forward. He will probably go for an intersection first. We do have this intersection down here. He may I immediately for a lieutenant to get him on the right path from the left. That was a horrible joke there. Scope rifles engaging the pioneer squad. The pioneers will get nice and close to them. Will draw a bit of fire. He should. The intersection squad will win out. This pioneer squad trying to avoid any additional conflict, but he should be safe enough to capture that munition sector. He's the captain of this cutoff sector at the moment, but it's currently cutting off nothing. And we do have a partially built slit trench here. I can take a look at for that replay. Pioneers here. The enemy advances. We do now have this sector being captured on up. For some reason that replay sounds familiar, I may have already cast that one. I need to take time to schedule all my uploads. It's I've been having insomnia issues lately, and so I just haven't had time or the energy to schedule the uploads. The old sector has been captured on up, pioneers move around. Bit of damage on to the pioneer. <coughs> we are losing territory. Yeah, Sector has been captured on up. We do now have the burn carrier deployed on out. Great barracks completed. Greeks barracks deployed in the field. Grenadier on the way. Forward supply lines are broken. He has plenty of manpower as well. He could eye up another Grenadier after this Attention one. And he could potentially eye a 251 half track. His opponent does not appear to have another the fuel support truck just yet. And he will get these sectors in supply. Currently, they're not in supply, thanks to this point being captured. Or at least being decaptured. But now all these resources sectors are in supply. And this infantry section could jog this way to engage the pioneer. Rather than go through the, over through the unsecure part and move slowly. Pioneer is decaptured in this sector there. Pioneer squad does fall back. Lieutenant being cast to capture these sectors here. And maybe we've got to just issue a retreat order so they can get back to the HQ quicker. Ground. So they can actually draw there. Of course, the Lieutenant there will inspire them to move faster. He does have rifle grenade on the squad now. In section getting hit by the Grandiers. Grandiers. Getting some. Not a whole lot of damage there. Hand struck up right away just to deal with the Bren carry and perhaps punish the field support truck. Rifle grenade rolls a miss. <clears throat> now got the half track pushed away forward. Has a pioneer load in the back as well. Very nice. 
I don't see the field support structures yet. You're losing a sector. Grenadiers to take a bit of damage. Rock grenades fired away. Does have the Panzer now blue upgraded, but the squad itself is quite wounded. He's been reinforced on the front line. One of our sectors has been cut off. Good damage there. Grandier is pushing the way forward. Drop grenades rain a little bit short there. Good damage there in that squad. He may lose it entirely. He's, yeah, it does hop inside the slip trench. It's his best chance for survival at the moment. It'd be hard to target individual squad, let alone one that there's two squads on the inside. Howdy. Lieutenant advanced way forward. And that squad, I think he did pop out, which is a wrong choice. He should have kept it in there and gets wiped out. Stick grenade thrown. He does stay in there and does eat it, but it was not too much, so it wasn't too spicy for them, that potato masher. After all, it's just the potato masher, not the actual potato. Which I hopefully potatoes aren't spicy either. If you have a spicy potato, something went very wrong or very right with that potato. That was hot the ground here inside of the abstract track. He is quite wounded there. I need to move on the flank. Maybe use some medical supplies before we hopped on in. Not sure. Grand is taking a bit more splash there. Half track moving around. And is attempt to build a slit trench right there in combat. Not a great idea. May draw a little bit of fire there. Left hand along the flank. Pioneers as well. Ren carrier engaging we the pioneers. They've lost the unit. I am not sure what unit he lost. I see five pioneers. I see two grenadiers. So I'm not sure what unit he lost. I just kept that sucker there. Munitions after being captured on up. Scroll park roll. Seen a bit of fire there from Grenadiers. Scope our squad. Make it wiped out. Does not. Half track straight forward. Uh, Rifle grenades ran a little bit short. Grand carrier gets the button there, but gets interrupted by the line side block of the melted uh, boxcar, which distinctly looks copper colored or bronze colored. It's a weird colored boxcar, honestly. Because most boxcars are, well, wood. And maybe some sort of paint, but that's clearly some sort of metal car that almost looks like a safe. Not sure what type of car would be that sturdy when it comes to trains. Maybe box shape as well. Those that carries like uh, chemicals, whether it be crude oil or some sort of petrol chemical, would be a bit circular cup shaped as well. Pioneer does get wiped on out. Grand Deer is engaging. We've got now stormtroopers uh, available. Stormtroopers can be quite nice. He's fighting against a large amount of, that large amount of rifle grenade squads, so maybe STG stormtroopers could be useful. Bundle grenades could be useful to clean out slip trenches. I actually haven't seen people use bundle grenades to clean out the slip trench. I'd assume they would be pretty decent at that. Though flamethrowers are not bad at that as well. They're actually pretty good at that as well. Going for a caution clearing station. Good damage there. He doesn't have a whole lot of munitions in, uh, stored up, nor income at the moment, so he can't really afford the STGs nor the bundle grenades. Nor does he have the manpower for bringing the stormtroopers. Does four reinforcements does consume quite a bit of manpower. And right now, the British player is here in force. He's slowly getting whittled down. He's taking more damage than he's dealing with these four reinforcements. And does get the gun to kill the crit. They're not death crit. He gets fired another round there. Does roll a miss, and the Grandier squad does fall back. No levels of veterancy either, and these guys have been affected by one lieutenant, who's now in the veterancy 2, which I believe veterancy 2 where the game improved aura effects. Is that the head of veterancy 3? I think that was veterancy 2. I always get mixed up with all the uh, veterancy stuff. Was he abusing it? Wasn't really paying attention. I've yeah, seen the amount of in incomplete rifle, uh, slit trenches. That could be a possibility. I still have a spicy potato in my mind for some odd reason. 
Oh, it's because my insomnia. Barbed wire being completed. Yep, I know about that bug view, such as I wasn't paying attention to whether or not he was performing it. I wonder if I prefer about Comfort Heroes 2. There's a lot less bug abuse there, though the game gets a little bit stale since they made stuff a little bit more mellow. You know, take on this barbed wire there. Somehow he's missing the barbed wire. Okay, the barbed wire got cleaned up there. May have been trying to double layer the barbed wire. These grenades could definitely use Fetch C1 to get healed on up. They also have the Comcraft Center. Fetch C1 is on the way. Now also going for Fetch C1 support units, which probably can be very useful for his pioneers, not only for the health regen, but also just make them a little bit better to deal with get their flamethrowers going. Those rifle grenades get a bit damaged here. Yeah, so the rifle, the bug abuse there. <clears throat> When I see bug, I see bug abuses, that ranks more of hated things than sniper usage. So at this point in time, I have no issue with the Wehrmacht player going for mass sniper. Actually, one support unit is now available. The trench there does get uh, skull root there by the lieutenant. With mount those trenches on the field, maybe a good idea for the Vermont to go for some double warfers. Maybe even flame half track. Don't worry, I agreed with you. I agreed. That now will be, be double lieutenant now in the field. Yep, they're both right there. Neither of them C, so is there a third lieutenant? On the field, or did he lose that one left ten that was supposed to see two? He may have lost that one left ten that was. Oh, nope. It. Click on him. Does not show the veterans here right there. We do got the Stu's available. Stu's should be very useful in this situation. Yep, now I'm really focusing on the right roll grenade abuse. The half track does provide some good suppression to help deal with this. He hits however, finds good flank there, gets a couple good hits. They're losing territory. Yeah. Shoes can be very useful. I'm not sure what's better at the moment. Shoes or nub warfers, though he does not have skirmish phase, I believe. And his opponent? Do we know he has a field support truck with the uh sappers? There appears to be no armor command truck just yet. So the shoes should be very effective. Good damage on the Grenadiers. Now got a bit of sandbags being built. Half track persuade forward. Taking a lot of hits there from those rifle grenades. Yep. And does sort of fall back there. The number of flamethrowers now pulling a few of flame morphers. <clears throat> Do now pull on a few. He does mount up the Piet Squad on the back of the Brenker. Not a bad idea. Gives him a self propelled way to help engage the stealth there, but the angles of fire is not great. Stu may not want to be focused on that Bren Carrier. It's a little bit bad angle. We've got both of these Piets over here, so setting up the Flam Warfers along that flank may be a good idea. Force ground fire to ground there unsuccessfully. Ashrek does hit the foliage as well. And does lose that squad entirely. Plus, he found an angle there to fire around. Losing a sector.
Now the forge has been opened up a little bit there. That was getting a bit more mobility and a line of side flush too. Lieutenant's push way forward, double lieutenant. Up north, we got the Grandiers engaging the school powerful squad. One squad does fall back, Bren Care push way forward. You guys have to be careful of the button from the Bren Carrier. Sappers who can side of the slit trench there. He has some flame morphers, not only for repairs, but to clear out the slit trenches. Got a steward here. Steward's canister round should be very effective. Your squad does fall back. Grandiers may take a cancer shot there. He's pretty far forward. He has no pan trek anymore on the field. He lost that one squad. It's a couple more models there. Does get fetch one support unit. Grandiers look inside the garrison and got the pan, uh, pan trek upgrade in this guy here. Drops a peat there, so he may have lost a peat squad. Flamorphers Morphers push away forward. He start putting threats to his opponent. He's trying to build the split trench abuse again. Our base is under attack. Dead damage there. Got another burn carrier buttoning the two. Goals on this there. Grandier is advancing, trying to get Panzer Shrek onto the Bren Carrier. Two of his good hits there as well. The Squad in the back, maybe severely wounded. And Shrek Squad needs some reinforcements. He's pretty low on manpower at the moment. They take the casualty clearing station. Some of the flying warfers are getting uh, splashed a little bit. I'm for a shot over here. Not a cancer shot, I thought it was at first as a canister. Got these units back on all since all the pioneers have gone or pretty back. Does give a cancer shot there. Pan Shrek Squad does roll a miss. Receives a pretty good hit there as well. Does full really throw it. Another squad is knocking up here for Pan Shrek. Does get the uh, stew button. Gets a good re armor hit there with the uh, steward. Damaging crit there, still buttoned. Pack 38 to pull in field. And now he's using his own pack abuse bug. At this point in time, I don't blame him. When one person starts abusing, the other person has the right to start abusing. It's a very abusive relationship. Panic Shrek being upgraded the, on the other squad as well. The is <clears throat> right forward. Got a vet 3 lieutenant here. Not sure if he's selected Dox just yet. The scope arc squad does skip out one. Oh no, he guns him down. Pioneer falls back there. Half track advancing way forward. See massive damage there from the Piets. He does hit up the squad entirely. Falls back with everything. Pioneer squad reports. Replacements have arrived. Attention. The enemy advances. Armor all does roll a mister. He has pan tricks to deal with it. Um, is a Karma is a standard medium tank, so no Stu may not be a good idea, but still probably wouldn't be a half bad idea. Flying Warfare Savants along the flank. Taking some damage there. One P Pioneer squad does fall back, so does the oh, Rifle Grenade squad. Karma 
does a little bobby hop there. I think the captain slapped its ass, and that's why it uh, jumped like that. Does fall back of both those officers there. Activating will be effective as the Cromwell. Cromwell does roll a miss there. Fresh stew in the field. Good hit there. Right now, the VP is in favor of the Vermont player, only by a small margin. Target annihilated. It says it destroyed something, but I'm not sure what he got. Maybe it's an incomplete structure. Grand Carry is a little bit of a PS squad. Three out of four models, though. One rifle grenade squad does fall back. Back 38 does get a shot there in the Cromwell. And the other rifle grenade squad does fall back there. Good hits there onto the Bren Carrier. Great hit there onto the Rock Grenade Squad. One of Flamma Warfare does fall back. Bren Carrier is still maintaining what little health remains. Farm rolls at full health and maybe overheal. As I'm pretty sure I saw this as an overheal. Yep, repair a sapper. Friend carrier is still quite wounded. And good shot there. Fire uh, does do heroic to charge away. Looks like these guys get to, those get suppressed by something. I'm not sure. Was that officer artillery? It appears to be officer artillery has been brought on in. So we've got uh, Royal Artillery versus Blitzkrieg. Damage there. Artillery ran in, does hit the Act 38. I think that's a priest on the field rather than 25 pounder. It is. The sound effect is similar to the booby trap as well as the humo. Losing a sector. Squad advancing. Does camouflage the pack 38 is severely wounded. Oh, that's also a intersection with a piet. Another pack 38 point of field, so he now he's two in the field. Grandiers are advancing, got two pan strikes in total. He does not have access to any off the powered sirs or off map artillery barges, so can't annihilate the H2 command truck with those. The enemy advances. The trench is taking some damage the there. He missed this way from scope or the rifle grenade squad, so avoid that bug. And it's abuse, primarily. Pioneers taking a bit of fire there from the Brennan Carrier. Multiple trenches have gone down. Now the Cromwell fully repaired. Good hit down the repair sapper. We are losing ground. Immediately destroys that sludge trench there, but his primary just went for that bug. Maybe a good idea to go for another uh, Stu. So he's pushing the command points for our Tiger Tank. Oh, 
forward, supply lines are broken. We have 300 points left. Currently he has Vestal C2 on his uh, vehicles as well, so that Tiger Tank will be Vestal C2. Let's get the ball on the field. Pack 38 does get a pen and miss. Grandir is now falling on back. And we've got another Priest Barrage. Ooh, that may have been a full squad right. Looks like Grandir went down there. Your pawns are now available. Looks like he does reinforce himself before bringing the tiger tank. Was that a full wipe? Yeah, that was a full wipe there. Clan Morphers advancing. Tiga Panzer now in the field. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. Fairmont player does have double cap against him. This is being captured by the British player. He does need to fix that relatively soon. Can't be bleeding off that many DPs. More artillery raining on in. Squad does fall back. Tiger Tank should get some good damage on that steward. Does get more shots there. Does receive a balance. Rolls a miss there. Do a fancy four. PS3 in the lead short. On the repair sapper. A couple of our running a little bit far, and the attack tank takes some damage there. Panstrax to pull it on out. I think he's gone double Panstrax on these squads now. Get those two Panstrax on that squad. Grandier is kept along the flank. He only has much form as Grandier at the moment. Pioneer is facing forward. Does go that charge there. Wounded Pioneer does fall back. All the Pioneers does fall back there. It looks like they will all escape on out. Another Flame Warfare Pioneer gets put damage from the Piet. Let's get outside the garrison. There may be. Nope, just a guy getting some good hits there. Skulls is the trench. Taking severe damage overall. Veterans game. Double bounce there. Let's get a good hit there. Good hits. As the train station builds down, I think does need some repairs. The enemy has 300 points. We've taken munitions. Taking hits. Now let's let trench going on up there. Another shot. Not really getting many hits there. He has access to a button. He has two command points. So he probably has enough command points for the assault grenades. I don't think he's selected that just yet. Ready to 
Pantrex push way forward, trying to get some shots. He does have four Pantrex there. The Cormoral taking some damage there. Taking a little bit more damage there. Cancer shot does get a good hit down the Grenadiers. Now fall back. Shoot through forward. Tiger Tank has been repaired, repaired enough. Flame doors, mass flame throws face along the flank. And the sword does go down. Frank here goes down as well. There is a command tank here as well. Actually, C3 support units, so he does have six. Bet three Flam War for Pioneers. Good shot there on the Quorum Wall. If the British player loses uh, HQ here, it's probably going to be game over, so losing quite a bit here. Quorum Wall does go out, out of control. You have the Calm Black, the Blitz Creek activated there. Great hit there for the Shield. So I lose too many squads now. Flamethrowers pass away forward. And now the forward HQ is going to be destroyed. And it's probably going to be game over if he keeps losing this. Be expensive replacement. If we take a look at his resources, a little manpower, little munitions, has plenty of fuel for now. But he may just need to get that redeployed and establish it on this munition sector or on to some sort of a safer, safer sector. about as well is he can either reinforce these squads or he could just wait until he gets out the HQ command truck. Deletes that bunker there so he gets out the Firefly. I apologize if you hear that leaf blower. I live in an apartment, and right now that sounds like the groundskeeper is blowing off some leaves in 95 degree weather. That was fun for him. Supposedly it's going to be uh, heavy th rains at my place around 5 or 6 o'clock, and which so in about 30 minutes to an hour, there's probably going to be rain, and hopefully the thunderstorm don't doesn't knock out of power. Huh, was that a uh, sector Overwatch by the supply priest? lines are broken. May have been. Territory cut off from supply. Drawing some fire, Tiger take Batch C3, fully healed him up. He's at pop cap, he's low on resources, he just does have the HQ command truck now redeployed. Hand trucks fire, also rolling some misses there. The Fairmark player has enough munitions for a manpower blitz, maybe good age just keep the munitions up for that. Or I for a good blitzkrieg, one of the two. But he could use more manpower right now. Rolls on this there. It looks like this uh, repair staff is almost dead. As all four members alive, but very little health remaining. Pioneers to avoid the sector of watch, partially. One more target short. So maybe got a white there. I'm not sure. Maybe he lost a. Uh, no, he has two stars here. I'm not sure what he took out. Maybe it was the captain. Tiger Tank does take some damage there. Another half truck to field. I wonder if he's gone for the uh, battle phase yet. 
No upgrades onto it. And she's pushed back forward. Good hit there. And those are the priest there, and those are the British players back in the game. Yep, the British player has back in the game. Whose name was actually this symbol there. I have no idea what that symbol even means. And that is the end of the replay. That's Angrid saying, thanks for watching, and on to the next replay.